This year, I decided to once again attempt a ride to the end of the Trans-Labrador Highway. I tried this trip a few years back. However, the unseasonably cold September weather and lack of weather protection on my KTM 690 had me turn tail towards the south. But now, the time has finally come to attempt this ride before the Trans-Labrador Highway is completely paved over and that element of adventure is lost. I'm riding this highway with a limited budget. There will be no stops at fancy restaurants or hotels. Just off-the-grid camping, grocery store food, and occasional beer. This is going to be a hobo-style Labrador adventure. Right, I'm sweating like a pig because uh, I'm wearing all my gear, but I am all packed and ready to go. I just have to fuel up and uh, I'm on my way. I ran into my neighbor and friend Jonesy at the local gas station. Jonesy wouldn't let me go without somehow contributing to the adventure. Well, thanks Jonesy. Well, Peter's on uh, an amazing adventure. He's going to be gone for like 10 or 11 days. I'll have to take care of his wife and kids for him. I'm going to feed her lots of wine, feed the kids Coke and Smarties all day. So it's going to be a great time while Peter's out in the rain, in the cold, going through stretches of Canada that we've never seen before. Thanks, Jonesy. All right, brother. Enjoy your trip. Thank you. I'll see you in, uh, in two weeks. Hey, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Your cap. Take care, buddy. At this point, I need to burn as many boring highway kilometers as possible to get through Ontario and into Quebec. So I'm taking a quick break at an en route uh, gas station in Trenton. I uh, burned the kilometers through Toronto. I didn't bother filming anything because Toronto is just boring. It's all traffic. And uh, currently I am en route to the province of Quebec. And I am some 150 kilometers away from that province. So I should be there in about uh, two hours. Riding at night is not something I normally like to do. But when you need to ride long distances in a single day, Sometimes night riding is necessary. Yes! Bienvenue, bienvenue. And the good thing is I'm 18 kilometers away from my campsite. Something special, just a KOA right by the highway. Hopefully they have a spot for me. If not, I don't know, I guess I'll keep going. The good thing is, I've made it past the 560 kilometers. That is the minimum I need to do. So each day, I have 11 days if you break it down. By day, I need to do 560 kilometers uh, minimum. That way, I'll make the 6,000 kilometers in 11 days. So I've passed that milestone. Tomorrow, it's going to be a long day, probably nine, maybe 1,000 kilometers, but we'll see. The welcome office closed at 10. Okay, I guess we're doing night registration. So there is a site available. Pay for it in the morning. It's 50 bucks. Got them expensive. But whatever, it is what it is. I was supposed to be as thrifty as possible on this hobo adventure. But in the end, I decided to splurge for this campsite. It was late. It was dark and I was exhausted. I definitely overpaid. Yeah, camping, first night. I am just uh, west of Montreal, some 50 kilometers, at a little campsite right by the highway and the train tracks, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm here just for the night. I'm gonna wake up early and head out ASAP. But yeah, it was a tough day. These first days are always difficult. You kind of have to wrap your mind around leaving and sort of getting to the groove of a journey. Usually after a day or two, it goes away. But yeah, it's the end of day one. <sighs> right, time to get up. All the rushing and all the 
racing of yesterday just gave me so much anxiety and so much stress uh, that I just could not sleep. I just kept waking up every hour or so. I was nice and warm, but uh, yeah, just couldn't fall asleep. Today is going to be a long day in the saddle. I need to get going if I am to make it to Route 389 by nightfall. 389 is the unofficial Quebec section of the Trans-Labrador Highway, or it's the highway that gets you to the Quebec-Labrador boundary and the start of the Trans-Labrador Highway. Hello, how are you? I wanted to pay for last night. This is the site. Uh, debit. All right, now it's time to go. I'll burn a couple hundred kilometers before Brecky. But yeah, the campsite itself was terrible. I don't know if you can hear or see, but beyond that grove over here, that's the highway. And there's a train track somewhere as well. And there was about 20 freight trains that went by at night. Recent Happy Valley Goose Bay, go. I couldn't have asked for better weather. I made it past Quebec City just before noon. Now, we're gonna get some lunch in about 20 minutes. But look at that. The plan was to stop near the Basilica in saint anne de beaupre It was a place I visited on my last attempt. And from what I could remember, there were a few small cafes there. So I was planning on grabbing a lunch here, but uh, seems like every restaurant and every place where I can eat is closed. But it's a beautiful basilica behind me, St. Anne. Nice little stop, but lunch didn't uh, turn out. There is a McDonald's and a Tim Hortons, but that's not lunch. So now I'm just gonna keep going and try to find something to eat. The COVID pandemic was still ongoing here in Quebec. The restaurants in this area were closed. There's a couple of little souvenir boutiques, but all the restaurants are closed, so no coffee and eggs for me here. But check out the beautiful basilica. Just gorgeous. I was making my way east on Route 138. Quebec Route 138 follows the north shore of the St. Lawrence River, occasionally turning inland through the Laurentian Mountains, making this route one of the most picturesque roads in all of Quebec. Riding through the changing fall colors of the Laurentian Mountains is beyond spectacular. Oh, wow, just incredible. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a ship coming in. Holy cow. I was making my way further east, riding through picturesque villages and stopping as often as possible to take in the beauty of this region. Another picturesque French-Canadian town, so another break. Oh, I should have worn my hat. I'm stopping to just uh, eat something, stretch my legs, take a little break, drink some water, and of course, enjoy the view. Last time I attempted this ride, I only made it as far as St. Simeon. From there, I took the ferry to the south shore of the St. Lawrence and headed further south towards warmer weather. So making it to the Saguenay River put me in unknown territory. This is a first step forward in a few years. It was a pleasant surprise to find out that the ferry crossing was free. The ferry had across the southern section of the Saguenay Fjord National Park. I wish I could spend more time here exploring the fjords as they are just simply spectacular. Unfortunately, I need to get going. I have to make it onto Route 389 and find a campsite before it gets dark. I found the junction onto Highway 389 North with minimum issues. Quebec's Route 389 connects Route 138 on the coast of the St. Lawrence with the Labrador border and the Trans-Labrador Highway. To me, 389 is the unofficial Quebec section of the Trans-Labrador Highway. 
it is also where I turn away from the relative safety of populated areas and head into the wilderness. As I fumbled with the camera, I noticed that my wallet was not in my pocket. I had the wallet when I paid for the food at the store some 20 kilometers back. Panic was setting in. So that was a wallet freak out. Okay, got everything, got my gloves. I took a deep breath, focused. Let's go. And took off. Within minutes, I was enjoying the hundreds of curves and the scenery on this road. I was giddy with excitement, and yet filled with anxiety about riding into the unknown. Okay, so I'm on the uh, Trans Labrador Highway now, or the Quebec version of it. So much anxiety, so much rushing, all this to get here, but I'm here. And isn't that incredible? Typical Quebec, we got plenty of road work. I've got another 30 minutes and then I'm camping. Well, we're on the Trans Lab, but I found a campsite. Look at this, just dug in. No harm done. I got lucky. So the fire is roaring. My camp is set up and I'm just drinking a Bud Light. A somewhat early night. I finished uh, just before 7. I was planning on riding till 7.30, but it just started getting dark. I was uh, picking up the bike and then I had to set up camp and get wood and all that stuff was done partially in the dark, so. But I made it, I'm here. Uh, campsite is pretty good. Beers are not the coldest, but delicious. And they're doing their magic. And I'm just gonna eat my sandwich, uh, go to bed hopefully wake up early and uh, ride some more. This technically is breakfast slash lunch slash dinner. But look at that, ciabatta, ham, cheese, yum, 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 yum. It was a cold and crisp morning. I stayed in the warm sleeping bag for as long as I could. So first night camping in the wild on the trans lab was, uh, Somewhat of a success. It was nice and warm, it was cold, but I still didn't sleep. Partially due to distress, partially because I heard animal noises, and partially because my knee was sore. So, don't get old, kids. Oh yeah, we got frost. I took down the campsite and packed up the bike. One of the things I noticed about this part of the Trans Labrador Highway is the fact that traffic is constant. There's probably about a thousand trucks that went by here through the night, so it's not like the James Bay or the Trans Taiga where you see a car or a truck once every couple of hours. It's pretty constant. Moment of truth. First, let's put this gear away. Will it start? This time, I was really concentrating on not dropping the bike. Time to head out in search of breakfast, and more importantly, coffee. All right, on the road. And as always, I need to do a few hundred kilometers before breakfast. You sing a valley for a while. They never meant to sail a lie, but they found a way. To steal your world forever She crawled around our living room Searching for a mother's womb That she pulled away From your warm embrace That hit you Motherhood of Waterloo You feel it tighten like a noose The soul respite Asleep 
She wasn't born to think that way You call her name, she looked away But always seemed to need a second glance 